What's good, y'all? I hope you've been enjoying yourself. I've definitely been having a good time here. And we hitting it with the number one video, topping everything. We got Spaz repping down the BX, putting down Bronx with Call Him Out. Number one video, check him out. Let me rob a nigga saying he D rich. Yeah. And I heard his history. You might as well call him B bitch. You ain't no artist, artist. Mike, no fake ass plastic. Good for recycle. Yep. Meaning you melt easy if fire like you. Them, Believe me, to beat me ain't easily. You better off shooting DVDs. You let a nigga get on real TV and say fuck your DVD. And you ain't edited or nothing. Crazy. Basically, your credit is dead if a front. Stupid. And I ain't talking about a check that you get from a nope. bank loan. I'm talking about respect that you get around your way home. You better just stay home. Do it. Cause I'm calling niggas out with this music like a ringtone. My flow break bones, cranium cracks and break bones. I'm full of niggas scars that they show. This microphone's my phone to call niggas out. Niggas be on some fake shit, call niggas yeah. out. Niggas be on some snake shit, call niggas yeah. out. Niggas be on some hate shit, then call niggas yeah. out. This microphone's my phone to call niggas Niggas, yeah. out. niggas be on some fake shit, call niggas out. Niggas be on some snake shit, call niggas out. Niggas be on some hate shit, then call niggas hey. out. By the way, my man wants slay a DJ with a cake. Money. Face is incorporated today. Disposing niggas cause these dudes is gay. I never knew they really move that way. I'm shutting niggas down. So tell me what these dudes can say. Hey, priest when it's beef, cause all they probably do is pray. I can't stand when a nigga talk shit Knowing damn well he don't mean what's coming off his lips not They talk crazy like they coming off the hip When they can't even handle they face coming off the fist Show See what right. it is, they mad cause I'm coming off they bitch But barrel the Adam's apple, they coming off for they chips so, Give me that. end of the day, I'm coming off rich, whoa now you know this flow with straight sparking them yeah. Calling niggas out, this song is telemarketing what? Calling niggas out, this song is telemarketing right. This microphone's my phone to call niggas out yeah. Niggas be on some fake shit, call niggas yeah. out Niggas be on some snake shit, call niggas yeah. out Niggas be on some hate shit, then call niggas out This microphone's my phone to call niggas right. out Niggas be on some fake shit, call niggas right. out Niggas be on some snake shit, call niggas right. out Niggas be on some hate shit, then call niggas out out. What's going on, NYC? It's your girl D up at the spot with the man Keith Murray. How you doing tonight? What's up, NYD? <laughs> this feel like deja vu. Like I already know you. It really do feel like that. You just <laughs> real cool. Keith Murray is like a real cool dude. So what's going on with you? Holla at the street. Holla at your boy. What up, New York City? Keith Murray in effect, aka Beef Curry, aka All Up in Your Ass. Just like that. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you want to tell the people in the streets what's going on with your album? You have an album dropping? Any kind of business that's going on with you right now? Oh, well, I got the Keith Murray album dropping on um, April Fool's Day for all the fools out there. Just get with me, rock with me, because it's going down. April 1st, Keith Murray. He's Keith Murray, the album. I got um, Just Blaze, produced my first single called Yeah, Yeah, You Know It. Ain't scared to show it. With Red Man and Eric Sermon, we acting a straight fool in the video. The video is taking you behind the scenes, what we do to warm up before we get on set. And they, hold up, that's my cell phone. Hold on. Serious? <laughs> <laughs> no, keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Talk on camera, Keith. Hello. Yo, I'm in the back room doing a, a video with NYCD. Video City. It's Video City. Video City. I'm in the back room. Doing a video with Video City and NYD. Come to so holla at you later. <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh, at the spot where we going to dinner with Ice? The other side. Oh, okay. Okay. Classic. Damn, we didn't even get the address to that. Classic. <laughs> 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 so you doing so you doing a video about the <laughs> behind the scenes with Eric Sermon and Red Man and Keith Murray sounds good sounds good yeah so the video is humorous lots of fun action pack just us in our real form you are gonna love it man y'all gonna love it so I got um I got Eric Sermon production oh my goodness I got um Clark Kent from Brooklyn. 
I got Jazzy Feezy from down south, Jazzy Faye. Oh, man, I got um, Pete Rock. And, you know, I got Busta Rhymes on the album. I got Redman, and I got my crew, L.O.D. All right, all right, that sounds good. That sounds good. A lot of big dogs up in there. It's crazy. It brings a lot of energy, thought-provoking thoughts to the game that, you know, that we all miss from Keith Murray because I miss it, too. So you and um, Eric Sermon are going to get back together and do something real nice for us. What do you mean by that? You just said you were going to be on an album with Eric Sermon. Get back together. We ain't never split up, D. But we haven't heard y'all two for a long time. Am I wrong? What song you heard me on with Eric Sermon? For a long time, we haven't heard you. Mm. Video City, am I wrong? Am okay. I right? Okay, now, what, show, what song have you heard me and Eric Sermon on, D? D. How, how this is D. How you take my mic? This is Def Squad TV right now. D. What song you heard me every sermon on? Can I get my mic back? You hang out with the heavy hitters. You hang out with the heavy hitters. You hang out with the heavy hitters. Yeah. Yeah. Well, me every sermon and Redman is doing our thing now. Back. Yeah, I'll be back with every sermon. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. What's up with Red? We chilling. What's up with Keith Murray? Why haven't we heard of Keith Murray for a long time? Where, where were you? Well, I was incarcerated for three years. And um, since that time, after I did the R. Kelly video, the Home Alone video, people might know me from there. So um, I did that and went in for three years, came out, and I've been home about eight months, and now I'm coming out on April 1st with He's Keith Murray, the album. Okay, so you just came out and you're already doing big things. Sounds good, sounds good. Yeah, I um, was signed to Jive, and then I had got out of that deal and made a um, pretty lucrative deal with Def Jam. And I feel confident about my new album because Def Jam is the number one rap label in the game right now. Okay, so a lot of people's getting signed on to Def Jam. A lot of rap artists and a lot of R&B artists. You think that they're going to give you the amount of attention that you really need, knowing that they, have, they just got Nas on with Murder, Inc., and they got Jay-Z on? Well, I bring something unique to the game. I represent a point on the spectrum of hip hop that is not occupied by any other artist. I bring creativity, ingenuity, energy to the game. So no matter where you go, where you at in the world, when it comes to hip hop, I'm always gonna stand out because that's the type of person I am. Okay, I believe you. Thank you. So three years incarcerated and you still maintain your innocence, what was it? Can you talk about it? Well, for what they said I did to an individual, I didn't do. And it just comes to show that fame is a devil-edged sword. Sometimes you, treat, you get treated good, sometimes you get treated bad. And in my case, I got railroad. I ain't afraid to say it, but that's what happens. So, you know, it's out there, man. You just got to be careful of what's going on because they will railroad your ass. But I learned a lot from the um, aspects of it, you know? Okay. Yo, Doug, you gotta get them people. <laughs> they trying to interview the. They trying to break up the streets. They you can gotta, never break up the streets. You gotta, you no, gotta, at Video City, make, we are the streets, and the streets stand strong. You gotta make sure when any interruption from come, put their ass on blast. <laughs> yeah, it worked. <laughs> yes, Doug. <laughs> so when you was going through Visually. that. <laughs> Okay. When you was going through that, with your, was your get family get behind your back and was your fans her, behind her, 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 your back? I think fell off. I think fell off. Don't get it, Doug. Don't get it. Damn, Keith Murray does not want to do this interview right now. Huh? Why is that? Give me the mic. When, the mic. when you was, when you was you incarcerated. Do you do doing me. <laughs> when you was incarcerated. It's all love. Isn't it all love? When I was incarcerated, did the people did, speak Did up? your family and did your friends and your fans stick by I you got, and support you? I got mail from all over the world, and I appreciate the streets that stuck by me. I'm the type of person, in fact, that I grew up alone, you know what I mean? I grew up taking care of myself. So I never really looked for somebody to take care of my economics and be there for me. I got, my, I got locked up. I ain't bring people in jail with me, so I did me. Anybody reached out, they reached out. My family was there, my peoples was there. I live off the land. But I had money in my account, and people like Eric and Redman did look out for me. And I didn't need much, so I was good. Okay. 
This is a big shout out to the streets. Pick up the Keith Murray album, April 1st. D got my number. <laughs> shout out Brick City. Shout out Long Island, Brooklyn, Queens, Bronx, Manhattan. And yes. yo. Queens repping all the time. And yo stinking ass. <laughs>